Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. So today I have a haul. I have quite a large haul actually. Um, I did go to my favorite cross-border shopping town called Watertown and I found some awesome, amazing things. Christmas things, um, gift items, gift items that I'm thinking like, mm, do I keep for myself or do I give them away? <laughs> you guys know how it is to go shopping for gifts. It's usually like, oh, I like this. So either I keep it for myself or I have to part ways with it. Um, but yes, <laughs> anyway, we did, um, I did go to Watertown with one of my coworkers uh, slash friends. We, um, she had just got her passport renewed so she was super excited she's never actually been to watertown so or she said she went like years and years and years ago but so she can't really remember what it was like there so she was super excited to go to like target and all those play and hobby lobby of course so uh we went together and i found so many amazing finds so yeah we went to hobby lobby we went to target target as i like to call it um we went to five below I actually went to Ulta for the first time ever, guys. Um, I'm not a big Sephora fan. Not that I'm a big Sephora fan. It's just I don't wear a lot of makeup or anything like that. So I really just never go to Sephora. But I knew they were, I was on the hunt for one thing and somebody told me that you can get it at Ulta. So that's why I went into Ulta and I actually found a couple other little things too that I'm excited to share with you. So yeah, anyway, I am super excited to share all of these items with you. Um, you guys know I would obviously love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button. It's just on your lower right. And if you could just give me a big thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And it also just allows YouTube to know that you are enjoying this sort of content and it just gets my views up a little bit as well. So that being said, without further ado, let's jump into this haul. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where to begin, guys. Um, of course, I always buy the most at the Dollar Tree. We actually didn't even go into Walmart this time. Usually we go into Walmart, but this time it was already like 6, 6.30 at this point. The time change, or not, it wasn't even the time change, but it was just so dark at that point. So we're like, let's just get on the road. Let's get home. It's a good like two, a little over two hours to get home. So we're like, let's just get home. We've shopped till we dropped. So yes, Walmart will be another um, shopping trip. So I'm going to do, probably have to do it into two videos because I think it's going to be a long video. So I'll uh, kind of separate the, uh, the Dollar Tree in half for each video and uh, go from there. So I don't know where to start, guys. So I think we should just start with, let's start with Ulta. Okay, guys, I was super excited. Um, I, again, it was from a friend who recommended going to Ulta. I have been on the hunt. So they do have this particular brand at Walmart. And I believe Target as well. But every time I go in, I'm never able to find this. And the one girl, it was actually another coworker of mine. She says, oh my gosh, we just went to Ulta. And they have a whole wall or a whole display of every single scent. Guys, Tree Hut brand. I picked up the Watermelon Foaming hand, uh, Gel Wash. So it's like a body wash. But oh my gosh, guys, like look at how big this is. So in the US, it's $10.49, so about $15 roughly um, in Canada. But I love that it's like no parabens, it's vegan, it's uh, phthalate-free, paraben-free, um, and also cruelty-free as well. And I, I'm not opening this one yet because I'm not ready to use a body wash, but I did open the body scrub and the watermelon smells so good. There's another one there too. I almost bought the coconut uh, one as well, but I was definitely on the hunt for the watermelon. Every time I'd go cross border shopping with my mom or, you know, by myself or something, I'd go into the Walmart and they never had the body wash. They always had like the body scrub and this and that, but I only want the wash. I've bought scrubs in the past and they always just sit in my shower and I never actually use them. So I'm glad I found the body wash when I'm done my other one. I've actually got a Bolero body wash in the shower right now that I use from the Dollar Tree, but I'm going to upgrade and use the Tree Hut one. Ooh, so exciting. And because I walked in at the very front of the store, they had this little shelf that had a whole bunch of things that were five for $5. And there were a lot of like Christmas things. So I thought this was so cute for little stocking stuffers. So they also give you a little brown bag um, with your purchase. So I'm gonna show you. So there's five items here all for $1. And each one reg uh, regular price is like $2.99. So a dollar each, can't go wrong with that. So, and I love the color theme or theme this year, guys. And it's actually like now I think there's a reason why I got my nails 
the way I did. Because <laughs> everything I got in this little pile is around this color. <laughs> this, check out this. So it's called Sweet Shimmer, Sweet and Shimmer. So I think that's their winter brand. But I got the Holiday Cookie Hand Lotion. Uh, yeah, love the little gingerbread. You guys know I am starting to become obsessed with the gingerbread or, you know, the vintage Christmas trees. Very like um, pastel -y colors this year. So, I don't know what I'm going to do as far as Christmas themes yet, but I know it's going to cost me a fortune to change all my home decor for Christmas. But anyway, slowly but surely. But anyway, off topic there again. But yes, I love this little hand cream. I also got this shimmer, um, uh, sweet and shimmer unscented makeup removing wipes. You get 15 wipes. Check out the little packaging. Actually, that could be used all year round, that packaging. But I thought it was so cute for the winter picked up this so this is sugar and cookie um, a bubble bath but look at that for in a little christmas ornament you can actually refill that with other things as well after and even just use that as a christmas ornament love that so i picked up that and actually you guys and it does um lay flat so you can actually put it down on a counter as well <laughs> got that and then i picked up this even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree always has a three pack of diamond nail files. This is a three pack for only $1. Again, regular $2.99 though. Um, but look at these cute nail files. Again, the Christmas tree. I love this pattern. I love the pink as well. Love that. And then I just picked up this. I use these from like not these particular brand, but I use this kind of stuff for my glasses, for my phone, whatnot. Um, it's just the Sweet and Shimmer Pepper Mint um, Scented Tech Wipes. You get 15 wipes per pack. So I thought that was really cute with the Christmas trees. So yes, guys, that is it from Ulta. Again, little tiny things, but I was super excited to find them. Five for $5 is an excellent steal. So that's why I picked up those. Um, just super funny i don't even know why i spent this much money on them but i went with one like i said i went with my friend from work and honestly she has a dog as well so we, we like to spoil our kids you know what i mean our fur babies so i did buy these i'm just gonna look at the price because i have the receipt here one second i honestly forgot how much they were i should have actually looked ahead of skin uh looked ahead here hmm Okay, I think I got rid of it or it's probably in my bag somewhere. Oh, maybe this is it here. No, um, anyway, it's from Petco. Haven't, I've never actually gone into Petco, but I picked up this, right? So it actually is regular price, $4.99, but how cute is this? Little pet magnets, the dog mom. <laughs> Put that in my car. I thought it was cute. I mean, I might, we don't, our fridge is stainless steel, but you know, the doors actually don't um, allow you to stick magnets on it. So I thought that'd be really, really cute to put in or on the car. <laughs> Dog mom. <laughs> and then I got this. Okay, guys, this was like $11.99. So yeah, anyway, it's a little bit more pricey than I was expecting, but I thought it was super cute. It is a coffee cup and it's a waste paper or a waste bag dispenser. Yeah. Yeah, I have a problem, guys. I have a problem. <laughs> but how cute is that? How cute are the little poop bags? And you get another roll of poop bags inside there as well. So you actually get um, two rolls of 30 poop bags. But how cute is that little coffee cup? This is more, I thought, more for like the winter. You hang it on his uh, leash. Because I also have pockets in the winter when I have my jackets and stuff. But there's sometimes in the summer where I'm just wearing, you know, shorts without... Um, pockets or anything like that so this would be handy to just put right on his leash so yeah I thought that was so cute <laughs> all right that's it from Petco um I'm trying to think of what else I can put do right now so that way I can put things away um okay so I'm going to show you a couple things that I got from the Dollar General I got three things from the Dollar General everything was only one dollar guys cheaper than the Dollar Tree one dollar dollar general look at how cute this is for one dollar it's an ornament but i actually thought you know what little snowballs but it's flat 
You can put it on a picture. You can even actually lay this flat. It will stay up on its own as well. So you can do that. Oh my gosh, like how cute would that be for a little tear tray? <gasps> yep, $1 guys, $1. Check this out, bro. $1. How cute is this for a little gift basket uh, or a gift bag? Merry Christmas with the red truck. Like it's probably, I want to say like an eight by eight square bag. Put a little gift card in there. Put a couple little things in there. You can get a little bottles of wine if you wanted. Just make a cute little gift bag. So I thought that was really, really cute. And I got this. Check this out. Holly Jolly. Christmas tree, farm, wreaths, garlands, we deliver. Okay, guys, like this is the size of my head. This is bigger than what you would normally get at the Dollar General. And guys, it's only $1, $1 for this. I was actually surprised that this was a dollar. I would have thought this would at least be like $2, but $1 and guys, it's tin. Like it's actually tin. So great little find. Yes, it is the red truck. I still absolutely love the red truck as well. But like I said, I'm getting more into the pastels and stuff too. So maybe I'll have a section of the house that's just for red trucks. <laughs> um, all right, that's it for the Dollar General. Let's do the Hobby Lobby and a couple of things from the uh, Dollar Tree. And then we'll um, end that video here. So I'm gonna show you what I got from Hobby Lobby. Guys, it's so cute. All the Christmas things were all 50% off. This time of year, you can't even find that at uh, Michael's uh, for 50% off. It's usually like 30 to 40% off. So guys, 50% off is a good deal. This is so cute for Jackson. It's a dog color chain, but how cute. One set, so for $5.99, so it was $3. Look at that. It flips, one says naughty, and the other says nice. <laughs> so it does rotate, obviously. So you just clip, clip that on to his collar, and oh my gosh, how cute is that? <laughs> and I picked up this for the coffee bar, the hot cocoa bar. It's great for like if you have the cocoa powder, marshmallows, anything. Like we have, you know, our two nephews and whatnot. So, you know, instead of putting everybody's like putting their fingers in there, you can actually use these cute little um, sleigh bell. It's a bistro set, um, $5.99, so for $3. It was a three pack of those metal um, scoops. So great to have. They look classy inside your cocoa bar as well, your hot cocoa bar. So that's why I picked up these. I usually eyeball these whenever I go to Hobby Lobby and I just put them down all the time. But for 50% off, I was like, okay, sure, I'll get them. And they're metal, washable. Probably wouldn't put them in the dishwasher, but I'll definitely hand wash them and they'll last for a long, 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 long time. So yeah, got that. Guys, this, the regular $15.99, so $7.50. Oh my goodness, guys. Or eight dollars, yeah, eight dollars. <laughs> this is so cute. The hot chocolate bar, whipped cream, candy canes, marshmallows, and sprinkles. Size of my head, a little bit bigger than the size of my head. It is an easel. And look at this, guys. Look at how awesome that is. So there you go. There's your easel. But look at that. Like how cool is that for storage? It's like a picture frame, and it just locks it into place. I think that is so awesome. So yeah, I think that is so cool. I'm gonna put that on the coffee bar. I have to decorate my coffee bar for Christmas and I will let you guys see that video once I get it all set up. You guys know I'm making all these promises that I haven't been keeping in a while, so I do apologize for that. Um, but yes, I plan on def definitely um, revamping everything and uh, getting set up for Christmas. But yeah, so stinking cute. I love that. <laughs> um, Okay, so we're gonna move into a few things that I got from the Dollar Tree and then we'll save the rest for the part two video. Um, guys, okay, I'm just gonna show you these. These have all been a repeat buy. Whenever I can go to Watertown, there's another place that I go to that they don't have like a fridge aisle in uh, the Dollar Tree, but in Watertown, they definitely have a fridge aisle and that's where I usually pick up these. I love these. They're like the, the knockoff version of like the Snapples drinks, but the front porch um, strawberry kiwi 
lemonade picked up those are the exact same size as the uh, snapples so you get 20 fluid ounces or 591 mils so i got that got two of those for a dollar 25. also picked up this this is more for craig i picked up this the half and half lemon a lemonade iced tea so same size um i think you'll like that as well um, and also guys, the last time I went cross border shopping, I couldn't find them at the Dollar Tree, but I knew they were at the Dollar Tree, but, um, I never found them. So I did find them at Walmart the last time and I think they were $1.98 each. So I found them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. The Alani coffee, um, I picked up two of the mocha flavored ones and I also picked up one um of the cappuccino one so i also have some guys like this color is everywhere <laughs> but yes i think those are great i haven't tried them yet have you guys tried them um i know there's like a fruity cereal type one not interested but i like the cappuccino idea ones so let me know have you guys tried them and do you like them i think i'm gonna leave it um there for now i'm gonna put things away in the fridge and then we're gonna do a part two for you guys as well um i remember i love it if you guys could hit that subscribe button um and give me a big thumbs up i'll definitely have the target um the rest of the dollar tree i'm gonna have the five below um at the next video so stay tuned for that all right guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys at the next video bye